going to cover uh, the another uh, Excel automation demo, uh, which is uh, uh, consolidation. Okay, so uh, let's say I have a uh, folder. Uh, let's go back to uh, desktop. So here I will uh, create a workbook or some other place. Okay, B drive. Here I'm going to create a folder. Um, Excel automation okay Excel automation so inside so let's say I have a uh, input folder okay input folder and one more folder output folder okay input and output so here in the input so I'm going to create a uh, Excel uh, let's say uh, data underscore one okay in the data underscore one and I'm going to create something like name uh, age okay here the name will be a b c d okay in the first year. I mean in the first workbook okay this is my data uh, data one uh, workbook data then again just copy and here let's say I have uh, some other uh, uh, data a b c d here let's say e f g h okay so my first workbook contains a different data and second workbook contains a different data now I want to combine both the data into one workbook okay which means I, I, I need to know just I want to consolidate uh, the entire data into one workbook so let's go back to here and output and create a new workbook okay create a new workbook that is called a report okay let's say report and if I create report uh, let's say here the column name name and the age is there okay and uh, which is sheet one it is now empty okay and so now how to uh, take from this data from uh, so usually how manually we will do just we used to copy this data and uh, we will go back to the report uh, excel then paste it again we need to close it and then again we will uh, go here and here we use to copy this and paste it in the master that's how we do right and how this particular manual cross uh, step how we are going to complete it through uipath studio okay let's see go to uipath studio and first we have a two destin uh, destination right one is for input file other one is for output okay and uh, we can create a uh, uh, for two destination path and this is for assign source source uh, source folder path okay this is for destination file path okay so here I given a different name source folder path which means here so I have a uh, input folder right so inside input folder I cannot you know tell that you know uh, data one data two because there are mal many files uh, inside uh, this right so I can now only mention that source folder from this source folder hey go and take the first uh, data one then copy that and go back and paste it here in the destination file okay and the same same like you know for the another file also now here I am going to create uh, variable that is source folder path okay enter and this is for destination file path okay enter and here I will directly go here in the input folder and copy this uh, entire path and come back and paste it within double quotes okay this is for folder path okay and this is for destination file path okay what is the destination file here this is the output report press shift key and right click and you will get a option called a copy as path 
and copy that entire path and go here paste it okay that's it now i have a destination file path and the source uh, folder path i want to where the loop is in, you know it's going to involve only in the destination folder because there is a, there are there is one uh, in the destination for i mean that uh, in the source folder only it's it has a lot of files right so then i'm going to use for each activity for each activity okay for each activity so here i used for each activity to get each file one by one how can i get each file one by one so before that i want to do something right to get a files from this folder okay then i can create a one more variable that is array variable because i have lot of files here okay if i want to store multiple values uh, uh, in, a, in the same variable so we can use array right array right so here uh, we have a uh, many files okay the file names okay data1 data2 then i can go to ui path studio okay drag and drop assign activity okay and drag and drop assign activity create a variable files okay and this is for get files okay so here okay in this place in this place we need to write a syntax like okay directory okay directory dot get files okay get files open bracket and what is the source folder path that is a variable source folder path okay now you see so i have a here i given a directory dot get files open bracket and i called the source file path okay click okay and still it is throwing an error why because we need to change a array variable here okay data type go here array of string okay that is done now uh, still showing error one second again i will uh, click on save okay now it's gone so now this particular activity you no know, uh, store all the files uh, name into this files uh, variable okay then i am going to pass this files variable here okay which means it it will con it will take all the file from this folder and each file name the entire file uh, name will by uh, file name will be stored in this files then in this for each loop we are going to list one by one okay each file we are going to list one by one let's say here i'm going to add it like file okay this is files this is file okay can i add right line here right line here drag and drop and here i'm going to add files okay can we check that you know whether the file names are coming uh, here automatically okay let's do it step into and step into okay and step into it's coming here you see the files okay if you go to uh, files there are two files stored inside uh, array and that you can see it here see excel automation input data 1 .xlx and excel automation input data 2.xlsx okay and uh, step into and is see the first iteration it's uh, printed uh, this first file name in the second iteration it's printed the second file name now we got the file okay so now you know we are getting the file one by one and what is next so we need to read the data from the uh, source file right then what is the activity for it read range okay read range workbook i am going to use read range workbook because uh, the uh, both the uh, file path is different okay and uh, uh, so here i can use this files okay because whatever you know the file names coming here that the entire path you know it's available in the files then the sheet name will be sheet 1 okay and then 
So what is the uh, data table variable to read the entire uh, sheet? So I'm going to create a one more uh, variable dt source. Okay, dt source. Then, then where I want to uh, uh, write that uh, data into uh, master, right? So to we cannot write it. So there is a one more activity called append. Okay, append in the sense it will you know append the data with the existing data. There is a activity called append range workbook drag and drop, and here you can mention that destination file path. Okay, go here, add a destination file path and add a sheet name. Okay, sheet one, and call the data table. So here we are getting the DT source. And go here, add a DT source, okay, and it will append in the destination file, okay, and also, okay, so no need to put any activity here, that's it, okay. Now, can I run? Just go and step into, click on step into, it's it's going to store a source folder path, and uh, then it's going to store a destination folder path, then uh, from the destination, uh, from the source folder path, and uh, in this particular activity, it's getting all the files, okay, from the uh, input file. Uh, then it's going into for each. Then in the for each, uh, it's releasing each file uh, path one by one. Then the first path is it's a file, okay. You see Excel automation input data one dot xlsx. Then step into, and then you see the data is you no know, read and uh, it's read it and it's stored into uh, dt source so check dt source uh, dt source here if you see here name age a b c d okay then now it's going to append the data right step into it's done again it's coming into the second file and it's uh, read the data you see in the files and you see uh, not files in the DT source and see EFGH. Then it's going to execute the append data and step into. Now you see done. Okay. Now go to uh, your output folder. Click on output and click on report. You see all the data came here. Okay. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. So this is how we used to consolidate our uh, reports, okay, that's it.